Welcome back to the Booze Buddy Update for Tuesday, July 26 of 2022. Today, arcane skills for whiskey, cliff them all, and old number seven no more. Brought to you by Green Mountain Payments, helping local business owners save thousands of dollars by providing complimentary credit card processing equipment and zero-cost credit card processing. Visit GreenMountainPayments.com or POSN0.com today. Well, arcane skills for whiskey. Last week I talked about saving beer and how beer is basically the first step of making whiskey. So beer and whiskey collabs, great way to introduce some new craft beer flavors into whiskey. Well, my words were heard. Okay, maybe they had already been planning this, but how do we know for sure? Anyway, Arcane Distilling partnered with nearby Kings County Brewing Collective on an initial release that's using malted barley, hops, and a particular yeast strain called Quake to create a beer that tastes good on its own as well as acting as the base for the whiskey. By the way, you might pronounce that yeast name a little differently. Seems like there's no real particular way to pronounce it. But anyway, over the coming months, brewing will move in-house along with distilling instead of working with partner breweries. They're also using technology to use less grain, heat the batch less, and ensure subtle flavors aren't lost in the process. As a result, you can check out more at the link that is in the show notes. Well, Cliff them all. Cliff Burton's estate has partnered with Knucklebones, another rock and roll beer release. Cliff, of course, is the former uh, and late bassist of Metallica, who played on Metallica's demo and their first three albums, Kill Em All from 1983, Ride the Lightning out of 84, and Master of Puppets in 86. Not only will they be laughing, uh, launching the Cliff Burton branded beer, but also a limited edition collectible statue, a portion of all proceeds going to the Cliff Burton Music Scholarship Foundation for Rising Youth Musicians. The beer is the first of the products to release with pre-sales now available. The statue will be coming soon. As usual, the first 500 orders receive a free poster and it'll be available in 40 states, mainly through mail order. You can get more info at the link that is in the show notes on that one. And old number seven, no more. Jeff Arnett, who was the former master distiller for Jack Daniels, announced back in 2020 that he was moving on. Well, he's got himself a new home at Company Distilling. It was announced actually earlier this month. If you like what he was doing before, chances are you like what he's doing now is the process and the end product uh, sure seem to be pretty familiar. However, he's definitely made some tweaks to get away from some of the leaky barrels that plagued him on some special offerings, uh, but also found a way to impart some of those same great flavors. To find about more about what it is that he'll be making and how he's going to be doing it at Company Distilling, you can check out the link on that in the show notes. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe, drive sober, and support the booze that supports your local community. And back again tomorrow.